If you're looking for the answer to the never-ending question, what CRM should I use, you've landed in the right place. My name's Alicia Crastell, and if you're here to grow your real estate business, increase your referrals without sacrificing your family, subscribe to the channel and make sure you hit the bell so you can be included in the weekly conversation where I share tips and strategies. So we're gonna get some clarity around that exact question today. And I've used a number of CRMs, including Top Producer, E Edge, Referral Maker, which was pretty good. But I think you'll be surprised at how simple of a process this can be, and you won't even have to spend a dime. The very first thing is to realize or figure out if you really want a client relationship manager or are you looking for something to manage all the leads and do drip campaigns on that? This is not the video for you if you are collecting hundreds and hundreds of cold leads a day. This video is specifically for if you're trying to manage your relationships to get referrals. So now that we got that out of the way, I'm gonna share with you the system that I've used that's been completely free and have created and maintained a 100% referral-based business off of, and all you need is a pen, a paper, marker, or you can use Google Sheets in Excel. So go ahead and grab your paper and literally write down all the relationships that you have. Not all of the leads, because remember this is a relationship manager. All of the relationships that you have. And please, for the love, do not stop adding people just because you don't have all of their information. We just want the names and we want you to do it off the top of your head first. And then you can go through Facebook or one of your social media accounts and see if maybe you forgot anyone. But most of these people you should know because you're in relationship with them. So write them all down or uh, put them in a Google Sheet or an Excel Sheet. Google is great because you can go ahead and add it very easily if you're on the road or on your phone. If you just stopped by an appointment and you met a new person you thought's really cool and that they're actually going to be a relationship. So go ahead and write those down. When you're 100% done, you want to take a highlighter and highlight the, say, 30 to 50 people who you think are most influential to your business. And we want to do that because you can't treat all of these people the same. We want to know the top people who really you're going to spend a little bit extra energy on. So to wrap our heads around this, you are going to be the center of all of the relationships that you have. You are going to provide the value inf information. You are going to provide impact to the people that you've met, the relationships that you had. And again, these are not cold leads that you just have taken from a website. These people know you. If you were walking down the street, you would say hi to each other. You are actual relationships. So it makes it that much simpler to manage. And I actually think putting them into a drip campaign or one of these CRMs, if you have a small database under a thousand, it almost complicates the process. So you are gonna be the center and you are gonna have them have you and know you as the ultimate resource for real estate. Let me know if you are a new agent. This is a perfect system for a new agent that doesn't have a lot of money to spend on a CRM or if you just are overwhelmed and it's unbelievably complicated. Let me know if you are a new agent or if you're a veteran. Okay, so how do you become the center of this relationship manager and how do we make this as simple as possible? For one, you wanna create content on your social media platforms and in real life that lets them know you're the expert, not just for buying and selling a house, but also for all things real estate, all things house related. So they come to you and you do that by creating great content. Um, and I'm gonna have a whole video on it in the upcoming weeks, so make sure you subscribe so you can check that out. It really gives you so much leverage just by, by making really good content. Instead of chasing after people like leads, you're actually gonna pull these people into your circle by the value you provide. You're gonna pull them in and have them contact you because you've done such a good job just maintaining that relationship. And that is where this just becomes so much easier than any other CRM that you can go buy. There's a whole process to communicating with all the people in your database. So if you want to see that video, I've broken it all down where it's on one sheet of paper and for every month it gives you something to communicate about. Um, and just remember, everything that we do is, is an excuse to get a conversation with the people in your database, including client events, um, mailers, anything that we do, a post. It's really just to get in a conversation with someone in our database. Um, so if you'd like that video, I've laid it all out for you. And I'll link it below for you so you can watch it after this video. Okay, so you have them all written down or in your Google Sheet. 
the columns that are most important are obviously their personal details, name, email, address, phone number, so you can contact them. Also, you want a section for their birthdays, so you can easily go through and you know search all February birthdays, and if you're going to do birthday cards, do those really quickly, or anniversary, a column for that, so you can search by month very easily. You also want a section for notes, so if you talk to them or you have something to remember that you need to remember, put it in the notes section, and it's just a column, right? It's super, super easy. Um, the one thing, if you have something like that they're, they've got coming up and an anniversary or something that's new to you that you just knew they're having a baby, they're retiring. I just put it in my phone and I put a reminder because remember I'm working by referral only. I don't have 6 million people that I'm worrying about, right? I'm worrying about a couple hundred, 500 or so. So if I, how many people are having a birth um, baby in that year, just put on your phone. Hey, remember to send something or so-and-so is having a baby, the due date. It's so easy um, to do it that way. We're just making it way too complicated by chasing way too many people um, other ways. A bonus tip is if you don't know who your like true peeps are that should be on the very tippy top of your list, go back through your last year or two of transactions and see where they came from, who referred them. And you may notice a pattern of certain people referring you business that you didn't even realize because you weren't paying attention to it. So you wanna highlight those people. And for me, whenever I get a referral from someone, I just put a small tick mark or a one in my Google Sheet next to that they sent me a referral, just so I can visually see who's really impacted my business. So how frequently should you contact these people? I believe if you have two conversations a day, two legit, like someone remembers that you actually talk to them, not like how's the weather, conversations a day, you are good to go. And if you have that list in front of you all the time, you are not going to forget someone. If you always have that list that you can see, or it's just quickly in your Google Sheets, you will know whether you're talking to Heather from work, um, or if you forgot someone and it looks like, man, if you see the list all the time, you haven't talked to them in a while, reach out. It's just really that simple. And obviously there's all kinds of strategies with how to contact people, and that's for another video, but you just want to be in conversation and we'll get to the very specific strategies. Just remember, talk to people, have a conversation and make sure it's the people who are on your database list. And then that is how you become the ultimate client relationship manager. And it just is going to be so easy that it's going to seem like you're not doing much, but you are. If you're feeling like this is valuable and yeah, we could totally manage our CRM like this, share this with someone who you know needs it because I know it could be helpful to someone and just relieve so many headaches off of them. And as always, the biggest compliment ever is a big thumbs up. It lets me know that you like this content. Make more like this.